Uh, hello everyone. Since everyone seems to be having trouble with the 3D map, I'm going to make a little screencast here of how to do it. So you first need to go to the dashboard and go to the data choosers and let's just load up some data. Uh, we can go to the catalogs and load up some NAM data. Let's say uh, 40 kilometer conduit data, latest. Okay, add that as a data source. Okay, excellent. The next thing you need to do is go to the Displays tab and load one of these maps as a data source. And the way you do that is just by clicking one of these buttons or icons there on the right. Okay, now we are ready to display our 3D map. So now you go to the Formulas Data Source in the Field Selector tab and you go to the maps node 3d map and choose topography as the display so and then click create display so now this brings forth uh, a dialog field selector where you have to choose the map data so select the map data that you previously saved and for the topography you need to select the geopotential height field from the NAM model. And then we're just going to use one time here. Click OK. And we now have our 3D map. And the way you can tell that it's 3D is by just looking at it from the side. You can see right here that it's that the data has relief. OK, I hope that this has been helpful for some of you. For more information about the IDV or Unidata, please visit us at www.unidata.ucar.edu. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions about future screencast topics, please contact us at support-idv at unidata.ucar.edu.